The remains of Confederate general and former slave trader Nathan Bedford Forrest and his wife will leave Memphis for good. His family and the people in charge of the park that holds his remains have come to an agreement. Fox 13's Greg Coy is live tonight at Health Sciences Park where plans are being drafted for what that site will look like once the pedestal and the coffins are removed. So Greg, does this mean the lawsuit is effectively ended? It does. And you know what? The debate about Nathan Bedford Forrest being buried over my shoulder really has raged for decades, particularly the last couple of years, as critics say the founder of the KKK, slave trader, needs to go. But supporters of his say that this is Confederate history in the South and it needs to stay. Tonight, a spokesperson for the Forrest family tells me that the general and his wife will be moved to another location closer to his birth. It was an argument within Memphis as divisive as the Civil War. The remains of former slave trader and Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest and his wife buried in this park since 1904, not in the cemetery as instructed in his will. The debate ended Monday when his family and sons of the Confederate veterans dropped their lawsuit to keep him in Health Science Park. Memphis is not the same as when he lived here and uh, rather than have all the turmoil uh, he would move. The remains of Forrest drived weekly protests until the city attorney devised a clever strategy to have them removed by selling the city owned park to a nonprofit group called Green Space. Supporters of Forrest filed a lawsuit that failed to return the statue and finally decided to concede the last legal battle to keep the remains in Memphis. Everyone is on the same page now. Everyone is ready to. Uh, turn that page and move on and move forward. Green Space President Van Turner tells me it could cost as much as $200,000 to remove the pedestal and remains from the site built more than a century ago, but no tax dollars will be used. We have private anonymous donors who stepped up to help out this process. And Lee Miller tells me it could take months as the process will need court review. Then they'll have to find specialized engineers to dismantle the granite site and use archaeologists to remove the remains below. The General and Mrs. Forrest were placed in solid uh, metal caskets. So if, if those have held up, then uh, hopefully they're still in good shape. And once this site is removed, Van Turner tells me it'll be grassed over. There's going to be park benches there. It could all be gone by the fall unless COVID-19 complicates this issue, complicates the plans. Coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, how the pandemic could push that date back. Reporting live in, live in the Health Sciences Park, I'm Greg Coy, Fox 13 News.